on that particular issue, Steph. All right. Thanks, Casey. Now let's take you to the 7th District of Texas, where Republican incumbent John Culberson is in a tight race with Democratic challenger Lizzie Fletcher. Culberson leading by a single point, an issue sure to be front and center in this race, immigration. Hispanics in this district make up 30 percent of the population there. MSNBC's Mariana Atencio joins me live from an early voting site in Houston. All right, Mariana, traditionally, this district was a Republican stronghold until 2016 when it went to Hillary Clinton. Give us the lay of the land now, especially uh, given the president's final push on immigration. Good morning, Steph. Let me give you a little bit of the backstory here of the Congressional 7th District. It was actually held by George H. Bush in 1966, and it's been in Republican hands ever since. But as you mentioned, the demographics here are changing. Latinos now make up 30 percent of this district. Will they be the deciding factor here? Not necessarily, but Democrats believe that if they can get Latinos to turn out, that is what is going to push the Democratic challenger over the top. But in talking to Latinos here, we found there's a twofold challenge to make that happen. First, there's a gap in outreach. A lot of the folks we talked to, nobody here reached out to them, Steph. And then secondly, Texas Latinos, if they turn out, they may not all necessarily turn out blue. Here are two Hispanics on those two very same. Let's listen. I do believe that if somebody wants to live in the United States, they should go through the official process. And so as a result, I tend to ally myself with people who agree with that. When you see images like the migrant caravan and President Trump talking about the caravan, does that motivate you to want to vote in a certain way? Yes, it makes me want to vote Republican because I think that if you want to live in this country, you need to abide by its laws. As far as outreach.